three, two, one. What's up guys? This is the Board Game Roamer and I am back with another video, another unboxing video. This time I'm going to be unboxing a Vanguard of War. Um, this is uh, a game that was on Kickstarter that I did uh, back. This is by the same guys uh, that did Loaded. Uh, and at the time of this recording, they just uh, started the Kickstarter for, I believe it's Chronicle X. Um, so basically what this game reminds me of uh, is a uh, tower defense. Basically, that's that's really what it is. A tower defense type game, um, which I really loved. First tower defense game I ever played was, that I remember that I really, really enjoyed was uh world of war or not world of warcraft uh warcraft 3 they had uh, somehow there was i don't know if it was on BattleNet at the time or something anyway they had a um tower defense type game and and when i saw this uh i originally saw it on beast of war uh we're doing a a preview of it i was just like holy cow this is going to be awesome uh, and I actually printed out the print and play um, cards and all that and played a little bit, not a whole lot, um, but it, it was fun. So I knew I liked it. So let's take a look at the box. Um, I'm not going to flip this box over and you'll see why here in a second. I think this is going to be good. Um, these guys uh, make their own minis, so they cast their own, so they're not the typical plastic. Um, but one of the things they did do was they made this insert, uh, for all these units, all right? And so we got some cards over here, which we'll look at here in just a second. So we'll set those to the side. And of course it is a D6 based game. So get your six sided dice. Um, but this is actually a two level mat. So let me pull that out. So here is, and this is the retail box, okay? So in this box, you have all the core stuff. All of the uh, gray um, items, like these guys. And the, the quality of these minis, as far as they look, they really do look um, absolutely amazing. Um, but you can tell... And, and what I'm afraid is that um, I'm going to have to be very careful because they're not plastic. You can tell. I mean, you can see on the bottom. Well, it's kind of hard to tell, but you can you can if you look at them up close, you can tell they've been cast um, in not normal, not a normal methodology. So I think I'm going to have to be real careful. But like this is one of the boss. This is the boss that comes with the core box. He's, he's really, he's just really, he's massive. Look at that. Look at that detail. Would be super, and I've seen some pictures online, just super fun to paint. Um, if you, if you really like to paint. Again, I, I'm sure a wash would actually look really neat on these guys. Um, but you have, basically you have heroes, right, that are going to be um, out there. This is one of the heroes. So you're going to be one of these guys right uh, they all have different abilities come on focus focus you can do it focus 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 there you go you can see my fingers when I'm working with that phone core um, so you're going to be one of those heroes trying to keep the waves of enemies from marching in on your location uh, and you have uh, a number, let's see, one, two, I don't think this is, is this a hero? I don't think this is a hero. One, I'm not really sure what that is, honestly. Oh, this is Kickstarter exclusive. I think that's from, that may be from Chronicle X. Um, so that may, be the, that may be something you don't get in normal. I may be a little bit wrong. But one, two, three... Four heroes, maybe I think it is, and then all of these guys. So you have well, you have a couple different things going on here. Like for example, um, 
for example, let's use this. So if I remember it correctly, this gosh, I think I skipped it further back. This right is one of the things that are gonna be uh like a succubus I think is what this is. I could be wrong. We'll find out in a minute. Uh, but that's what's going to be trying to get into uh, what you're basically what you're trying to defend. So you're going to be running around uh, trying to keep that. Oh goodness, now I got to get back in the thing. You're going to be running around trying to keep that from getting in. But there are also um, other units like. Let me find an example of a unit. I think. like these guys as an example so there's a couple different uh, units like that some are speed some are attack based uh, some are defense based and they get attached to these main uh, units that are kind of moving along and they're gonna add defense they're gonna add speed they're gonna add um, damage when they do attack to what they do so it kind of gives the little bit uh, variability uh, and that's random the cards have them on them but you shuffle up the cards and so you're going to pull a random one so you never know which one's going to be the one that comes out um, because you're going to pull these cards and you're going to roll the dice I remembered I take that back you're going to pull a card and then you're going to roll two dice and so you're never going to know it may get nothing on one of the dice, but the other one may be a move. You may get two defense ones. It may get two attack ones. It may get one defense, one attack, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but, oh goodness. I'm, try, oh gosh, I'm trying to be really careful with these because I don't want to mess them up. But they do have the pictures. When you pull these out, they do have the pictures on the bottom, so... Like, you're going to know what should go back where. This may take a few minutes um, to, to, once you set this up, uh, put all the pieces back out. Or put all the pieces back in. So here's the main rule book. Alright, so there's the rule book. And put them through here. Some pictures. Looks like there's a lot of text, which is not going to be a bad thing. There's the board. We'll look at the board here in a second. Uh, but you basically set it up mostly the same way every time and they talk about range etc 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 so some interesting lore things um, and this is um, this does have a campaign-esque component to it there's a way to play it where you play through basically one level and you get to keep most of your stuff and then you play through another level there's these cards that you have for the um, units they do have levels um and so they get harder either they hit for more damage or maybe they even have additional abilities and whatnot as you progress to the next level uh you also have these um essence and ascension uh these are if i remember correctly these are ways that you um you get it from destroying enemies, and then that's kind of how you level up, uh, because you do your your character can level up. Um, lots of cardboard here. They're already falling out, so I guess that means they're done pretty well. There's some tokens. There's some life tokens. Uh, these is ascension and essence from killing stuff. Um, some of the heroes have will have tokens. Uh, like for instance, one of them can place turrets. There's a couple of turret tokens here. Um, to show that, I will show you in the Kickstarter exclusive uh, some of the stuff we got. Some of those tokens that you have, actually we have some some 3D pieces for. Um, but you, all, you have all these tokens, digging tokens, um, all those. Uh, let's set those over here for now. Then these sheets are the... Oh gosh these are the items so you can you can if you dig successfully you can find items also your units um, start out with certain items most of the time they're one use deals so you'll get these and you can use those um, when you need them they're all pretty powerful but like I said they are one-time use so it's not something you just go kind of willy-nilly uh, 
Oh, well, that's completely falling out. So, I guess we'll look at these. I'm just go ahead and pull all these out because I bet when I pick this up, yep, the same thing's going to happen with the other one. So, here's all your people. So, you've got. Uh, let's see here. Trying to find the. Oh, that's right. So each each hero has actually two cards. Okay. Um, the first card is one side is kind of like their first level before they level up, right? So here is an example, Lieutenant G. Crick or whatever. Uh, so you have a basic attack. Um, then you have these uh, action attacks that have different ranges and number of dice you roll and what you hit on. Ooh, goodness, I thought I was going to sneeze. You have a certain number of hit points, you have a certain number of action points, and a certain speed value, which is basically your movement, if I remember correctly. Um, and then if you upgrade, when you flip it over, and I may have had those, oh, yeah, this is the side. So when you upgrade, you get these all these abilities improve, and you get a different, your health may stay the same, but see here, our AP and SP has changed. So you have this board for each of your each of your um, heroes. So there's Jeek Crick is one hero. Um, let's see here. Lord, and they all have a separate symbol. So they're on the on the top left hand corner here. Um, then you got Lord Visser Visserite. He's got the most. He's basically looks like a tank. Um, yeah, he's basically a tank. Jukirk is melee, it looked like. Ashira. Oh yeah, she's like the mage. Um got lightning, shock, banish. Yep. Uh then you've got Sergeant Specs. He's got Rocket Broad, you got a missile grave Basically, if you'll notice, they're normal. Okay, keep put it further up here. Their normal sides, when you flip them over, they have three skills to start out with. When you flip them over, they get another skill. But that skill now costs essence, which is what you'd normally use to, to level up from here to here. Now you can use that essence to do a, a pretty massive, massive attack. His is basically self-destruction, does a huge amount of damage. And then Ashira gets teleports. She can show up on the field anywhere and immediately make an attack. Lord Viscerite, the tank. Uh, he can kind of push people back. So, pretty cool. Um, also, so here's the board. And I think I probably have this too close to... You be able to see the full board. The board is not massive, okay. Um, the board does have two sides though, um, and so you can see here. Yeah, so this is a central location right here. This is where everybody starts out. You can see all these hexes and these arrows that tells you the mobs how they're going to move what direction there's four four different paths the mobs can only move on these paths like this your heroes can move everywhere else but you can't move oh goodness that was close you cannot move on the same path um as for instance your heroes can't move here right that's only for the mobs um, but on the back side of this, it is open. And in the Kickstarter, what they did is they gave us uh, tiles so that we could actually, um, you know, if you wanted to make your own maze, so to speak, you could do that. Um, 
So that is that. So let me take a minute. Let me get all this stuff back in the box. And then um, we will take a look at the um, other two boxes um, that are the Kickstarter, <clears throat> Kickstarter exclusive boxes that have some more um, content in the form of heroes, uh, some additional basic um, creatures, and um, some extra tokens and stuff like that. So give me just one, one minute and I will be right back. All right, uh, here we go with the Kickstarter expansion. Okay, uh, so this box, and then I have one other box, same size, without the pretty graphic on top, uh, are Kickstarter exclusive. So this is something that if you did not buy the Kickstarter, you will not have. So let's take a look see. So first things first, uh, here's some the tokens that I talked about earlier for this creating the spawn point and the map, uh, the custom map. Here's the sheets for that. So there's all the different tiles for that. And this talks about kind of talks about that custom modes, tells you how to build. Um, they got a couple kind of like uh, they designed for you, right? That you can use to build. If you wanted to do that, which would be neat. Um, here's some additional heroes. And again, you can see it's got the whole phone thing going on. Gosh. There's several heroes in this one, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So we've got... Um, course you know oh, I don't want that um okay um, that's just extra cardboard uh so there's Lord Pyrith Pyrith again another looks like a paladin almost <laughs> uh Wilt who looks to be Well, I'm not sure what he is. Almost like a poison range. Yeah. Something like that. It's Wilt. Lanneth. It's like an angel. Captain Corporal, sorry. Jasso. Now this is the one with the um, that I told you about that their ability is the the turret, and if I remember correctly, I believe it's this bag. Yeah, so in this bag, um, you actually have the turrets. There's two turrets in this bag, right? So instead of having a marker out there, you actually have a physical turret, and there's some additional pieces that are that same way um, for other heroes. Um, Captain Six, that's basically a sniper. One of my favorites to play in the print and play, actually. Sir Jankovic, just a really huge damage, if I remember right. And that's kind of like a warrior with a shield. And of course, as is always the case, a lot of times they do these um, tributes to other things. There's Candy and Cola from another of their other games. So. They did make an appearance. There's the Captain Mahara. Uh, again, I think kind of a balance of melee and range. And Fallo looks to be kind of like an undead melee. Yeah. So, now I will say this. These boards, these player boards... These babies are thick, which is good. I do I do like that. And of course, 
Um, it also came with their items, their start uh, starting items for all of them. Um, so yeah, for instance, I'm just looking at the pictures because that's probably the best way to tell um, on some of these. Like healing station, I, I know that's one of the tokens. That's that's one of the tokens that's in this bag. So there you go. There's that. So let's put that over here. And then looks like Chronicle X and Empire of Men are two games that are coming out. Chronicle X I knew of. I didn't know Empire of Men. Let's check that out. See if it's any good. Um, right, so like I said, most of these are heroes. Um, I did not get in because of some my banks retarded. Um, because of the way they do things and because Vanguard of War was overseas, they wouldn't charge my card. And by the time I got, since Kickstarter doesn't take PayPal. I did not get to get the Pell Rider, and apparently, I thought that I had ordered it, but I went back and looked, and I actually had forgotten, apparently, to add it to my um, order, so I didn't have the Pell Rider, which kind of sucks, but I did get uh, some other expansions, which we'll look at, but here's, again, some of the bad guys. Um, I keep turning it the wrong way. That you're going to face the bosses. Well, let me see if I can hold them like this. Come on! Some of the bosses. Looks a lot like a Zerg to me. Uh, probably my favorite one, though. Um, is this guy. He's like a wolf with guns on the top. Pretty cool. So. Uh, put him back in here. But really, most of the stuff that's in here. Um, let me find an easier one to pull out. Any easy one. Really, what we got with this was just a lot more of these guys. You know, these purple ones that we already had. You got uh, some more of those and some more cards. Just to give you a little bit more um, replayability for one and variety. Uh, some like additional sculpts and poses and stuff like that is mostly what this is. Um, cool. That back in here. Now I am gonna pull out for this. These on the bottom. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna store all this yet because I really hate to have this much stuff for one game, but I don't know another way to do it currently and still protect. Protect. Come on now. Protect everything. Especially when something like this kind of ridiculousness happens. There we go. It's still not exactly the way it needs to be because these are like apparently super tight. All right, so let's do let's do this because I did not do this earlier. Pull out some of these cards. I'm not, I'm not gonna go back and do it out of the core box, but um, you do have cards like blessings and curses, I believe is what they're called, that um, can either benefit you or harm you. Um, in the core. 
in the core game. So here's an example. Uh, you have like a basic. Uh, oh, this feels better. Uh, I'm trying to find a good example. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have like their basic card, right? So this is a basic monster card. They have some number of dice that they use. Some number of dice that they use. Certain movement, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then, so that's like their base, base level, level one. Right? But then they have... Um, another level. So here's an example... Here's an example of the boss, that werewolf with the guns. So here's the level one version of him. Right? One, two, um, AP, speed, seven hit points. And then the level three, he's got an additional movement, two more die, hits twice as often, and it has three more hit points. And both of his uh AR and SP attack attacks uh attack rating I think is what this is for. Anyway, so those those stats have both added one to it. So you can see that's what happens as they progress. Um let me take a quick look over here at something else. Oh yeah. So um I won't show you all the specific expansions because you don't want to sit here and watch me unbox all those. But um, the long story short is the other box that I had is uh, boxes like this. So this this box, as an example, this was the Chaos expansion. So this box, you'll get another boss and then basically some minion types that go thematically with that boss. Um, you know, and the thing is, you, you can take all these minion types and put them all in one big deck and play with everything, or you can play with just the core stuff. You can play with whatever you want, uh, really. Uh, so it is kind of nice. You can mix and match. Or, you know, if nothing else, slowly add in uh, whatever you want to add in. So that is a Vanguard of War very quickly. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And... I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.